Holy emotion, Batman! Yesterday's video created a lot of negativity and misunderstandings that I will address in this video, and its only purpose was to answer that question, why did Impulse end? And it created a lot of misunderstandings like, hey, was Mike wrong to take money for making Impulse a high production value show? No, Mike is a great guy. He makes great videos, and he was paid because he made a great product called Impulse. And it wasn't only Mike. Impulse started with a lot of people like Tiffany, Christian doing editing, Rick doing that awesome radio voice, and others who made the show into a great success in the beginning. The reason Impulse ended was because the views kept decreasing and we couldn't justify the cost of the show anymore. Now some of you said, George, you're a liar for calling or for saying it cost $30,000. It did. We actually paid over $30,000 in the time the show was running for over a year. I don't know why you think I would lie about something like that, but it's absolutely true. And Mike didn't receive $30,000 because it had more people than him on the show for the lifetime of the show. I don't know why you thought he received everything. It was actually Mike and Brittany who kept the show going after everybody left and Mike and Brittany were creating two different shows that were called Impulse and that was what we were paying over a hundred dollars an episode for and that is the show that ended because it just wasn't bringing in revenue or partnerships to justify the hundred dollar plus an episode fee. So there is no one who's the evil guy here, there is nothing that happened that was bad. Everyone here is a winner because Mike gained a lot of experience and fans by making Impulse on Freedom Central. A lot of those people are watching him on his personal channel and you can click that eye up there to have a look at his personal channel in case you want to check it out and I recommend you do. And Mike, I also don't know why you felt that there was some kind of like bad intention from my part. Again, all I was trying to do was answer all those people who kept commenting hashtag bring back impulse. They perhaps didn't realize the show had a cost. Perhaps they thought the show, like many shows on Freedom Central, are just created by the people for free. Freedom doesn't pay anything. We just give the promotion, the exposure of being featured on the Freedom Central channel with 100,000 plus subscribers for the people making the videos. For example, the new show, Ask Obits. Have you seen it? If not, click that eye. That's the very first episode of Ask Obits. He is not receiving money for that, but he is receiving promotion and exposure and experience talking to a much larger audience than he normally does on his own channel. So for those of you who are saying, bring back Impulse, I'd love to. Mike is welcome to continue the show, as is Brittany, as is anyone who's created great content for freedom, as long as there is either no fee or the fee is justifiable based on the growth in the viewership and in the return on investment freedom gets. Freedom is a company and the company needs to be profitable. Otherwise, it can't pay its rent, its office space, its other paid staff that are doing work work like the support team, like me, like my wife who's building the Chinese team. We all take a salary because we've committed full time and it's not just 40 hours a week, guys. This is still a startup. We work the startup hours, which means 80 plus hours a week for many of us. And so, of course, we need to pay our bills. So, there's nothing wrong with collecting a salary if you show that you deserve it. And we'll constantly be bringing in new people. We will hire more staff as people prove themselves that they can generate a positive ROI, return on investment, for freedom. Now that doesn't mean that Freedom is only looking for paid staff. We love to work with people who are just volunteering, who are looking for that experience or that exposure or that promotion because we all know that not everyone is in this for full time. Some people are still in school, some people have a part-time job, some people have other things they want to do during their day. They don't want to spend a full-time work building the Freedom family. So I hope this helps explain and resolve all of the misunderstandings in yesterday's video. 
which I have unlisted from the public view so no one else can see it. But in case you have no idea what I'm talking about and you're really curious, click that eye up there. That will take you to yesterday's video that created all of this misunderstanding and negativity and I hope you will appreciate that I'm just trying to answer a simple question with this video. Why did Impulse end? So everyone has a clear understanding and everyone is happy. Are you happy? Does this help? Tell me in the comments below. I would love to know. And if there are other misunderstandings or things that you feel we've done that are wrong or someone has done that's wrong who's related to freedom, tell us in the comments below so we can resolve it. That's the job, that's my job, for one, as well as other people who are working on the community team, which is our brand new team of five and very quickly growing members. And if you want to join the community team because you think you can help resolve misunderstandings and answer everybody's questions, every comment gets a reply. No comment left behind is the job of the community team. Then tell us down there in the comments below. Help us notice you. That's how you join the team. And check out youtube.com slash freedom. In fact, I'll check it out for you right now. We've just added some of the core members of the Freedom Community Team to the banner so they get more promotion. This is what I meant by people, here we go, there is Valorize, aka Brendan, and Obitz, aka Alexander Obitz, plus the names of all the people who are currently on the community team. And if you send us photos of yourselves, we'll gladly update the banner to include your photo and help you get more promotion. So. Does this help? Does this make you feel like everything is just a big misunderstanding from yesterday's video? I hope so. And if not, tell us in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as well as respond to anything people want to know. So who am I? I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom. <laughs> and you've been watching and we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.